The U.S. military suffering its first combat death in Syria on Thanksgiving in an IED blast. The tragic loss of life underscores the dangers that U.S. soldiers face each and every day in the fight to defeat ISIS. Joe Johns is live for us at the White House with the very latest. Joe, good morning. Good morning, Brooke. Not a lot of information on this at this time from Central Command. We do know, as you say, a U.S. service member in northern Iraq near Raqqa, northern Syria, I should say, in Raqqa, was killed. Uh, this apparently was caused by an improvised explosive device. There are at any one time as many as 300 U.S. troops operating in Syria. Uh, working in an advising and capacity and uh, advising role, uh, but we don't know precisely what they were doing. Uh, the uh, Defense Secretary Ash Carter did release a statement yesterday that said, in part, I'm deeply saddened by the news on this Thanksgiving Day that one of our brave service members has been killed in Syria while protecting the U.S. from the evil of ISIL. And as you say, Brooke, it uh, points up the danger in Syria even though these people are supposed to be working in an advisory capacity. Back to you.